Okay, so these are the 2024 Charmed Life Master Planner inserts. Okay, um, so that's the cover page. This is the you know ownership plate. Here are the master uh, planning pages. So this is the goals page, ideal day, ideal week, routines, strategies, your vision board on two pages here. Then you get to the calendar section and you can organize your print on demand inserts however you like, but this is the, this is the flow that I always prefer. So you're going from big picture to um, more micro view. Here's your calendar tracker, yearly overview for the first half of the year, yearly overview for the second half of the year, project section. And I know what you're thinking. Where's the monthly and weekly? They would normally go right here. I'm going to show those to you last. I'm going to show you all the core master planner inserts first. Project matrix, project tracker, project plan with notes. Obviously you get, you can, a couple of those. Let's see, I guess I'm gonna add just those. Then you get to the brain dump section, brain dump pages, brainstorm section, brainstorm pages, notes, Blind note pages. How many? I think I accidentally printed too many of these. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then we get to the index. And then these are the index pages. And what you do with the index pages is if you're someone who wants to be able to make your planner searchable, that's what an index is for. So what you would do is as you set your planner up, you would, um, you know, you could notate what page numbers there are like in order however you want to do them and then you can say the content right you could also be like okay the page for the week of january 1st through 7th i wrote about this project plan that i want to break down right you could you could do whatever you want um however you want to do this you could just maybe you could just paginate your your project section and then you know what the content is you know so it's just easier to find things um in your planner because it's not as searchable as the digital is, right? Okay, so now let's talk about the monthly and weekly inserts. So here is the month on two page, I'm sorry, month on one page, truncated monthly. You have a space here for your top three, right? So your top three for the whole month, like the three things that are most important to you. And then you have the important dates and events at the bottom. Again, because this is a very truncated view, you may not be able to write things in um, as detailed as you'd like. So if you want to, you say the date, you say what the date or event is about, okay? So that is, and then on the back of the page, the monthly task list, okay? I'll show you where the monthly tracker is in just a moment because the monthly tracker is actually part of your weekly pages. That's where you'll find it. The January, here's January, there's a divider. So you do get a, a divider, a monthly divider on the week on, I'm sorry, the month on two page inserts. So this is your month on two page, same as we've already seen. On the back, task tracker. Now, when you get to your weekly pages or your daily pages, then you have the month starts with your tracker page. So that's how your dailies or weeklies are broken out. They always start with the monthly tracker. So they're intended that after your months, you're going to put your week in, right? So you'll put January in, then you'll put your, you know, whatever your weekly or daily pages are. You'll put February in, then you'll do your, your weekly or daily pages for February. And that's kind of the continuous, um, like a logical flow of your year, right? So you got your tracker. And then here we have, this is the day on one page insert. So you can see there's a two days, January 1st, January 2nd has a top three, a today section for you to put something that's important for the day, some sort of reminder or whatnot, although you have remember down here. So there might be something about the day, the weather, something like that that's important to you, maybe a quote or a Bible verse. You've got a schedule six to nine, and then you have a task list. Remember and gratitude at the bottom, right? For every day. Those were the daily pages, okay? And then at the end of the month, as you've seen, the monthly review, right? So the monthly review, same as what we just saw in the digital. 
Now here, another January tracker starts. And what's this one? This is our week on one page. So that was day on one page. Now we're looking at week on one page, your weekly objectives, task list, a remember section, your days of the week with your top three. So again, we're not just working all every day off of just a just a task list, a to-do list. We're gonna work off of a top three so we know what the most prioritized tasks are that we have to accomplish, right? It prevents us from being able to, you know, continue to knock things off of, you know, continue to keep things on our to-do list that are actually very important when we're forced to prioritize them. Okay, so another tracker. This is the vertical week on two pages. Every day has a top three. There is a nice line section for you to create a schedule, notes, or an additional task list. And then the bottom is, sorry, the answer is front line flat, um, is a open section that I, I generally, you can use this for anything. You could make more topics or categories at the bottom of your days, or you can make this like the evening plan. So this is like your top three, your whole day, and then your evening plans, however you wanna use it. Um, and these sections are, um, structured so that if you have any of those vertical square stickers, right, like Erin Condren makes them and um, Happy Planner makes them, those long square stickers, they will fit in here. So every day has the full of the week has the full, but then the weekend is truncated. So you have the top three and then the blank section. So still space to add in appointments or, or to do's or whatever you want in there, um, but the expanded for the, for the week. And then the next is the horizontal week on two pages, which we already saw. Weekly objectives, reminders, business and personal task list, the habit tracker, the weekly breakdown with your top three and the area for additional, additional things. And then we're getting here into some of the bonuses, right? So here's the functional planning dashboard and these are kind of just printed on top of each other. The functional planning dashboard, the carpe diem, the inbox, and actually, I wanted to show you, I had these from previously, the inbox, you know, you can print it on paper if you want to, or you can do like what I do is I print it on vellum and I laminate it and it becomes like a divider page for me, right? Or a page where I can add sticky notes, it becomes like a reusable dashboard. And I also showed you that I have it here in the, in the personal size. Like I said, the dashboards in the bonus come in half letter or personal size, and this is just the difference between the two. Um, everything is generally the same between the inserts that are half letter and the inserts that are personal size. There is one difference. And so I printed this out so you guys could actually see what it kind of looks like um, when you print the personal size inserts out. So when you print these out, how would it have looked? It would have looked like this. And I, I cut it in half just to make it more useful. So when you print them, they'll look like this, right? But I, I cut it in half because generally when I'm cutting down my personal, I always cut them in half first as well. But you can see, first of all, that it has crop marks. So the personal size, you crop them down so that you're getting the exact right fit. Differences between, the only differences between the personal and the half letter in terms of design for any of the pages are this. The monthly tracker has your objectives, has your weekly actions, and your daily actions, because this is a smaller page, there are not individual little boxes the way there are in the half letter. It is one longer box meant for you to tick it off. So there is enough space for you to tick off like one to seven, seven to 14, 14 to 21, 21, 28, 28 to 31, right? You'll have enough space in there, but this is not quite enough to actually put boxes in, <laughs> little box, teeny little boxes. So that's one difference. And then the other difference is, is the week on two pages vertical for the personal size looks like this. So whereas it looked, let me pull the other one up. Here's the other one. This is the half letter vertical. Here is the personal size vertical, right? So instead of it all being across they're kind of broken down into these quadrants with a full, you know, you do get a full column for this week. But the good thing is all the, all the days of the week are actually the same. You get the same options, right? Just the top three and the line section. Whereas, you know, some of these are truncated, right? So those are the only differences uh, between the half letter and the personal size printable files, okay? So that is the print on demand 
master planner. But also, real quick, let me show you. This is the printable planner tabs file, what it looks like. And again, excuse this color. This looks like pink right now. Let's see if I, it should look grayish, like the same color that they were on the digital, on the digital inserts. This is like a warm gray beige, okay? Um, you will print this on a full size sticker label sheet, and then you can cut out each individual tab and then you fold them over on, onto the corner of a page and you've got a tab, right? So these are the two-toned printable planner tabs. The next insert you get as a bonus are the printable sticky notes. So this is meant for you to print onto three by three, like post-it notes. This is what the file will look like, you know, what the designs look like overall. But this file is actually three pages. So the second page, and this is the page you will print first, is the blank grid. So you print, print this page first, and then what you do is it says it here, you'll place the three by three sticky notes on top of the squares so that it knows where to print, and then you reinsert this page back in and print page three of the design, and then it's just the designs. And then what ends up happening is you have, you have sticky notes that look like that, <laughs> okay? The next bonus are these four planner inspo cards. So coffee glasses, laptop, Wi-Fi planner, crystals, lo-fi vibes, fueled by crystals and coffee, out of office, and the inbox zero. Again, because of the weird lighting, it's looking a little more pink, but it's grayish. <laughs> it's a grayish color, the same color that the digital tabs were. And then here are the little mini calendars. Again, you can print these as much as you need onto paper or cardstock and cut them out and you've got little mini calendar cards. Okay, so that is the bonuses and the Charmed Life Master Planner print on demand. 2024 Master Planner, these are the print on demand inserts. Okay, so what you get with your purchase of the print on demand Master Planner. 2024 dashboard cover, you can see it kind of here on the on the on screen. Set of six master planning inserts. We kind of walked through those, didn't we, in the beginning of the digital planner? They're the same thing. Um, you've got the uh, goals, routines, strategies, vision board, etc. Then you get the 2024 calendar spread. So you get the yearly calendar, the yearly tracker, the yearly overview. And then you get with the digital inserts, you get, I'm sorry, when I say digital, I mean print on demand. With the print on demand inserts, you get your choice of monthly calendar, either a one day on one page or the day on two pages with the master task list and the monthly tracker, right? So the difference of those is essentially the horizontal master planner, that is the day on two pages view. And then the vertical master planner is the day on one pages view, right? It's very similar. It's a little bit different. I'll show you when we get to the the inserts. Then you get your choice of weekly slash daily agenda inserts, however you prefer to see your, your, your days broken out. There's day on one page, week on one page, horizontal week on two page, which you saw inside of the digital planner, and then a vertical week on two page. So you have the choice of which monthly and which weekly you want, or we'll talk about this in a second, you can buy all of them. You can buy a bundle of all of the inserts and interchange them as you as you wish, and there's a discount when you buy them bundled. Then you get, with your master planner, this is not separate, you get the project planning inserts. So you get the yearly project matrix, the project tracker, and the project plans with notes. And you, of course, also get the idea capture inserts. You get the brain dump, brainstorm, lined notes, and an index, okay, for the paper planner users, okay? So um, here's the some of the, you know, this, uh, the, the inserts to show you. Left is the yearly calendar, the yearly tracker on the right, the yearly overview, right? It's one page per quarter, just like in the vertical master planner. The project planning matrix tracker and the project plan with notes. Then the idea capture, brilliant ideas section. All right, all of the uh, brain dump, brainstorm, notes, and like I said, index. So with your purchase of the print on demand master planner, you get both a personal sized files and half letter sized files, right? So you get those no matter which combination of monthly or weekly planning spreads that you choose. 
Your purchase also includes detailed print instructions for the personal size, the half letter, and also how to print the half letter as A5, A4, and full letter, right? So there's a variety of different sizes. I do have a separate set of print instructions on the shop for people who like to use the Happy Planner and they want to, or they have an alternate size planner. I will say the people do it. People do print the, the master planner in happy planner or alternate sizes, um, generally sizes that are close to the default sizes that I have. What I will say is if you are a newbie, <laughs> I don't recommend buying the master planner if you intend to put it into a happy planner standard size, which is like an eight by 10. I just don't. I recommend that you just buy the master planner and stop using the happy planner and start using it as a half letter or a full letter size. It's much easier. Your life is so much better because those sizes that happy planner has are proprietary, which means they're unique so that you have to buy all of their inserts in order to, to use it. Right. But I got out of that game a long time ago, right. Which is why I stick to the standard printer, the printing size of pages, right. Half letter, full letter, a5, A4, and also personal size, because that's a very popular size in the Filofax world, um, which is like, what do they call that? Like an A6? No, maybe it's smaller. Yeah, if A6, yeah, A6. I think that's what that's called. Um, so those are more standard printing pages, you know, insert sizes. Um, so the in when you buy the print on demand version of the planner, all of the inserts are print on demand PDF files for you to use at home or feel free to take the files to your favorite office supply store and have them professionally printed. And some of them will even cut them down for you, right? So although these inserts will print on standard printer paper for best results, I always recommend printing on 98 bright. That's the color of the of the paper. So it's going to be bright white paper. But if you want to use cream or you want to use pink or you want to use blue inserts, you can print on whatever color paper you want. What I just do is I always use 98 bright because it's a beautiful bright white. And I use anywhere from 24 to 32 pound paper. That is the weight of the paper. If you ever experience paper that you're like, oh, wow, this is so thick and luxurious. It's most likely like a 32 pound paper. And then, you know, standard cheap copy paper is more like 20 pound, which I really don't recommend. It's very, I don't like it for inserts. I just don't. It bleeds, it's too thin. I don't think it holds up, but 24 or 26 actually is a nice, is a nice weight, right? But anywhere from 24 to 32 pound paper is what I recommend, okay? Um, but you can do whatever you want because this is a choose your own adventure when you do the print on demands. You are creating a custom planner system for yourself. Okay, so what are the options for the printed versions? Month on two pages, month on one page, right? What are the daily agenda options? Day on one page, week on one page, week on two pages, horizontal, and work week on one page. I'm sorry, vertical was on the left and then on the horizontal on the right. Okay, so those are the agenda options for you to actually view how you're gonna be planning your days. And oh my God, the bonuses though. So when you purchase, actually, when you purchase all of these planners, <laughs> I have bonuses for them, but for, and I didn't, I'm not going to be showing you the digital bonus because I realized it was, I wasn't sure how to show it to you. Um, we'll talk about what the digital bonus is in a little bit, but the bonuses for the print on demand are a set of two tone printable planner tabs so that you can actually create tabs on your planner pages for easy organization. And they look very similar to the tabs that were in the digital. You have a set of printable sticky notes, a set of printable inspo cards, and a set of little printable mini calendars that are dated for 2024. You also have a set of, and there's two sets of these, one for personal size and one for half letter, these three dashboards, the functional planning dashboard, carpe diem, and an inbox dashboard. Okay, I'm going to show you guys that a little bit more in just a moment. So when you are checking out with the master planner print on demand, you're going to see that you have the choice of the monthly calendar and the weekly agenda spreads. You can choose one monthly calendar and one weekly agenda for $45, or you can choose to buy both monthly and all four weekly. I think you could purchase, you can purchase any combination. Like when you go to monthly calendar, it's going to say month on one page, month on two page, both monthlies. 
And you can go under weekly agendas, it's going to say day on one page, week on one page, vertical, week on two pages, horizontal, week on two pages, or all four. So you can buy any combination of those and the prices will vary, right? But the best, best value is to buy everything. It's $75 and you would be surprised that you will mix and match using these inserts. So if you're someone who wants to do more like what the digital planner is doing, where you've got a monthly and a weekly and a daily, the best value is just to buy everything. You can purchase additional monthly or weekly inserts a la carte and I've got them all linked for you in the description of this video but it's not worth it like from a price standpoint if you think you're going to try more than one weekly or more than one monthly you might as well buy the full bundle because it really especially if you're going to if you want to do like a, a daily and a weekly insert just buy the bundle it's the better it works out better than buying a la carte but the a la carte is always there in case anyone doesn't want all the rest of the bells and whistles that come with the master planner and you just look like one of my designs, you can buy the a la carte. Now let's talk about print on demand. Okay, so what you need to know about using print on demand. So again, print on demand files are printable PDFs. They're, a little, they're the same thing, they're still the same format PDF as the digital, but they're optimized for print versus the digital planner is optimized for interactions, right? For the clickable links and things like that. It's optimized to view, be viewed on a screen, the digital, the PDFs, the printable print on demand ones are optimized for actual printing. So again, it's a universal file type, but you do require a piece of software in order to read that, that file type, right? So I recommend, and I use the Adobe Acrobat reader and there is, I use the one that's um, pro, I think, because I have Adobe creative cloud, but, there is a free version of Adobe Acrobat that's not just, I think it might be like called the DC Reader. Um, it's not the same as the pro version like and the trial, which you can get a trial of the pro version, but you're gonna wanna have the free version of Adobe Reader on your computer, right? If you're someone who's using the print on demand, right? So you'll also need, in order to you know use these, you're gonna need a printer, um, you're gonna need a paper trimmer and a punch that's compatible with your binding method of choice. So if you want to, you can take the files to a print shop if you don't have a printer, and they may even be able to cut the inserts for you. A lot of them have the ability to cut the inserts in half or even with the, the, uh, the files that are personal size that have the crop marks, they'll be able to cut your inserts out for you using the crop marks. Um, and my inserts always come with a set of detailed print instructions. So you're gonna have the print instructions for step-by-step -step how to actually get the desire you're looking for. Now, some kind of common binding methods that you're, you know, may think about using because this is you creating a customized planner system, right? The most common binding methods are ring binders like Filofax, Kiki K, Franklin Covey, all those, right? And disc bound, right? Which is, tends to be the version that I use. And that's really what I showed you today was a disc bound, right? The discs, right? So those are the two most common binder styles, right? Of way you're gonna actually bind the planner yourself. Now, I see print on demand as being for the woman who wants to create the custom planner system where you can add and remove pages as you desire. That's the best thing about doing print on demand and having a physical planner, right? I think is I, I've never been someone who's been into a necessarily physical bound planner because it doesn't give you the ability to change things up, right? But some people do like that, right? Which is why I have a bound version, but, um, for me and for many other women, right? It's it's the idea that you can customize your system and set it up exactly as you want, the order you want. You can add and remove pages. You can combine pages from other planners or get other inserts or print things off at home yourself and put them in your planner. That's the benefit of print on demand is that you are in control, right? So here I have a little graphic that says four reasons why print on demand planning inserts are the best value because I do think that they are the best value um, if you are willing to do a little DIY. Number one is instant delivery. You buy these files, you have the files, you are not waiting for someone to ship something to you, you are printing things out right now, right? Choose your own paper quality. That's a big one, especially in the planning world when you're talking about paper planning. So many people have preferences on what type of paper they're gonna use. Not just the color that we talked about, but the weight, and texture and some people use different pens. You know, I'm generally someone who uses like a ballpoint pen, but if you are, you, you use something more like a marker or you use a fountain pen that has heavier inks, right? You're gonna want to have better paper. And so when you have print on demand, you choose the paper. You're buying the paper that goes in the printer and it's all completely up to you. 
Next reason it's the best value is that you can use any binding method you want. So you can choose to like stick with rings or stick with discs, but actually even switching between the two is very easy. Like how often have you, and I know that this is something that's very popular in the planning community because it happened to me, it's probably happened to you. You got into maybe, I started getting into rings. Well, technically I had a disc mount first, but I didn't really realize that I could print with it. Um, it I started off with rings, like a file of facts planner. Actually the first ring planner I had was a Kiki K. Um, and I had Kate Spade planners and I had file of facts as well. But those are, are ring bound planners, right? And then I learned about disc bound, like the a little bit more intensely. And then I, had my inserts in disc bound. But how often do you go ahead and you started with one system like a file of facts and you bought all of the compatible inserts and then you switch to a different binder or a different size or something like that, right? Even switching between like personal and half letter, right? Like that means that you have to invest in different inserts. When you buy my print on demand inserts, okay, fine. You you printed a set out for a half letter and you're going to put it in discs. And now you want a first a personal size file of facts. Guess what? You don't have to buy anything again. I gave you both sides of the, of the file and all you have to do is print them out in the right size, cut them and punch them and put them in the new planner. That's it, right? So it becomes very universal for you to switch out your inserts, right? Um, and of course, the last reason that they're wonderful is you is unlimited printing. I mean, let's be clear. How often when you have physical planner inserts, do you need to go ahead and buy refills? It happens. What happens if you lose your planner? What happens if you drop your coffee on your planner, right? What happens if your pen explodes and you've just ruined an insert, right? That's it. You have to either buy more or live with the fact that the pages are ruined, right? Not with print on demand. You can print as much as you want, as much as you need, right? If you're someone who wants to have like your master planner in a half letter, but then you want to have a little, a daily view that you keep in like a, in a personal planner that you keep in your purse, you can do that, right? You can create more than one planner for yourself using these inserts. That's the beauty of using the print on demand, right? So this is really for the woman who wants to create a more custom experience for herself, right? And doesn't mind doing a little bit of work because that little bit of work, right? Which is really a lot of fun. So many people have said that, you know, once they got into the printables, they're like, actually, it's kind of fun and relaxing to sit there and do it. I know it's like a little hobby thing to do. It's a little arts and crafts project, right? But if you're someone who's willing to do that, the value is tremendous. The function is tremendous when you choose that. And that's why for years and years and years, I've been a print on demand person. Last thing I want to talk about is if you would like to get the entire 2024 master planner system for free, wouldn't you love that? Just get everything, the digital, the print on demand. The only thing that doesn't come with this is the bound, but the digital and print on the bound, the whole thing, the whole shebang for free. That's $120 value. Well, you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And if you're like me, you may not have many ambitious, like-minded women around you that have taken, and so you've taken to the internet to find that community and accountability, right? And that is exactly why I've created the Charmed Life Mastermind. It is an accountability and personal development coaching membership community for ambitious women who are designing their best lives. When you join the membership, you get instant access to a library of content. I have over 30 master classes. We have monthly live Q and A's, the replays for those. We have monthly planning sessions. There are tons of planner inserts, meditations, additional resources covering topics of planning, productivity, mindset, goal setting, and metaphysics. We do three live Zoom calls per month. We have a new monthly masterclass every month. We do a Q&A coaching call every month and we do our CEO Power Hour, which is our monthly planning session every single month. You will get access to our Mastermind Slack where we will do daily accountability prompts, different sorts of uh, food for thought sorts of prompts. We have a book club going in there. We do Q&A. There are monthly challenges. There is meal inspo ideas. We have Spotify playlists whole different resources. We add everything in there to our Slack. That's our private membership community, like a chat, right? That we all talk together. And when you enroll in the annual membership option, which is currently on promotion for 3033, oh, sorry, you get the 2024, sorry, forgot to change that, 2024 master planner for free. But remember, you can also get it for free with the new quarterly option as well. 
So this is what you're gonna get and experience inside the mastermind. First, personal development. If you love to learn but don't have time to dig into research yourself, the resource library is like a productivity and personal development Netflix subscription with videos and downloads that you can use to implement what you learn. You're gonna get accountability here. I'll be your accountability buddy, checking in with you weekly, right, to check your progress on your defined objectives. And I also do coaching live and through messaging on our Slack, right? So you come to a live, you need some coaching. This is what we have these live calls for. We have tons of breakthroughs. I help people map out plans. Um, we did an amazing class, actually. I feel like our last class we just did was our quarterly planning that we did earlier this month. And we had a great conversation at the end about breaking down our, our plans into our objectives so that we get things done and into habits and things like that. It was a wonderful conversation. So that is all happening inside of the mastermind. And of course, friendship and connection. So we have the best community filled with a variety of women from different backgrounds and in different fields of work. We have stay at home mothers, we have project management professionals, government employees, scientists, researchers, therapists, and small business owners Get ready to connect with some amazing, ambitious, and focused women to help you level up your life. Here's a quote from a member within the group. I am blown away at the tremendous support within the Slack community. There are so many motivating women on here that are crushing it and making wins daily. It's so great and encouraging to be part of an amazing group like this one. Thank you for being here with us. And if you're here in the live in the chat, you're going to see I have a bunch of our mastermind ladies are actually here showing their support and sharing about their experience with them with the master planner and with the mastermind. Um, it's really a wonderful membership community for anyone who really is trying to improve their life, trying to learn and master functional planning, really trying to be someone who is that ideal version of themselves. You know, coaching, individual coaching can cost a lot, right? So I've created this community. It's an ongoing community where we meet. I create resources for you. You get the support that you need and the prompts that you need to go deep really, and become the best version of yourself day in and day out, right? So like I said, the there is a new payment option here when you join the mastermind. It's the quarterly payment option, which is $99 every 90 days you'll be charged. Um, it comes with the 2024 entire master plan system, value of 120. What did I say the whole total value of this one was? Like you save like $250 a year, Right when you when you choose this option, the offer expires though, right on the first of August. So the quarterly payment will remain, but the bonus is going to get kicked out of it. But it's it'll stay, stay the same price. Your second option that's on promotion today is the annual membership. It's three thirty three. It's usually three ninety six. Three thirty three. You'll get charged every year, every three hundred sixty five days, um, and you also get the bonus of the master planner entire system this offer expires on the first after that the community goes back to 396 and i do keep the master planner as the bonus it is always still the bonus for the annual membership i've just added it to quarterly this time around of course if you want to join but quarterly or annual isn't up for you there is the monthly option it is 44 dollars per month there is no bonus um but it's also this community is, you know, as you please, right? So you, no question asked cancellation policy, right? You join, you stay with us for as long as you like, you leave, we're good, no hard feelings, right? Because this is about your personal development, okay? But the special promotional offers expire August 1st. Again, to remind you, the promotions, you can use the code MP2024 at launch, and you can shop for any planning tools. The code works on shopping, shop, Shop planning tools. I think I put shopping instead of shop planning tools. That's one of the categories and anything under learn productivity strategy that is on uh, that it will apply to the to the code. It's 20 percent off now until the 15th, like through to the 15th. So the 14th, really starting the 15th, the code switches to 15 percent off until the 22nd. On the 22nd, the code becomes 10 percent off until August 1st, then the code is gone, it disappears. So the sooner you buy, the more you save, and you can use the code more than once. Of course, just to reiterate, new quarterly payment option for the mastermind, $99 every 90 days, that's $33 a month, 2024 master planner system, save 252, annual membership option for the mastermind, 333 every 365 days, plus the planner, that's $315 savings. There's no code for this, no code. It's already there. Choose the option you want to pay, check out, 
be on your way, <laughs> okay? So those that is everything I have for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look in the comments and um, see if anyone had questions. If you had questions, now is the time to ask. I'm gonna go ahead and, and review. If anyone had a question, make sure you start with the letter Q, right? So I know it's a question, not like a comment or a reaction to someone else. So say Q and then your question. Okay, so scrolling through. Oh, here's a question. I don't think they left a Q first, but they said, um, will digital be printable or will there be a promo for both? Digital is different than printable. The code MP2024 launch includes both of those. So you can use you can use the discount on either. Okay, here's another question while I'm waiting. Uh, to be clear, the Charmed Life Mastermind comes with both the digital and the entire print-on-demand system. Correct, correct. You get all of those inserts. The only thing that doesn't come with the Mastermind subscription, the quarterly or annual, not the monthly, right? Right now, this is the promotion. Only thing that doesn't come with is the actual physical bound one that's on Amazon to buy. Uh, Debbie says, if we do the quarterly version, we get basically everything that's correct. Correct, everything except the bound, yes. So it's really an amazing promotion right now to join um, on the quarterly basis. But that's going to go away. Like the bonus is going to go away for the quarterly. I'm going to keep quarterly as a payment option. I think that might be really useful for people. Um, but the bonus is going to go away. It's only it's going to remain exclusively with the annual membership after this after this promotion period. So absolutely, guys, you know, I really think that the master planner is the planner to be using, <laughs> right? It is the planner. It's a complete functional planning system. And what makes it different is the system of inserts inside. It is not just a paper based reminder system or even a digital reminder system. It actually walks you through step by step things that you need to do to get your ideas out of your head and onto paper with the brain, brain dump and brainstorm, right? That helps you get those Get your thoughts clear, prioritize them, right? Understand the difference between what you need to do now and what you could be doing later, right? So you're not getting confused and working on things that are due, you know, further in the future just to avoid the things that are that are supposed to be due now, right? And so you have all those inserts. And then you have the project planning system, right? That's all about taking all of those great ideas that you had and you brain dumped and turning them into clear objectives. Because this is one of the big problems I see is that when people are, you know, trying to plan, they're just kind of like, you're kind of brain dumping on like your, like, you know, one of those other planners. You'll just be brain dumping on the daily or on the weekly or even on the monthly, but you're not organizing it strategically to really let you see how all of your actions could be adding up to a specific, to a specific outcome, right? And very often people put, do this, make this problem of, uh, for themselves that they will put a project on their to-do list, which is one of those big like no-nos for me, if you guys have ever heard me talk about that before. Um, putting a project on a to-do list means like you will put like an entire multi-step <laughs> plan, right? As just a to-do. <laughs> so it's not just one individual task, it's actually several tasks. And so looking at that on your to-do list, if you try to tackle it in one day, it might be too much, right? And it might throw off the rest of your tasks for the day. So it's really important that we take those projects and we break them down strategically so we understand what we can take action on and we have a more reasonable expectation of time, right? So we've gotten all of our stuff out of our head onto paper. We've organized our things into phase two of functional planning, into, into objectives, right? And then we map it out across our year, across our months, across our weeks, and across our days, right? And that's how we get visibility to everything that we have to do. It's how we set better expectations for ourselves. It's how we um, tackle the most priority items so we don't let them fall to the bottom of the list because we've taken the time in our weekly to say, these are the top three things I need to do. These are the top three objectives I need to work on in, in January or in August, right? These are the things that should have my focus. And so they're going to take up my primary space in real estate in my planner, right? So that you are being face to face with what you actually have to do, right? Not just to have like a list of, of to do's that are like a wish list for you, right? Which is what happens in, in many planner systems. <sighs> yes. Okay. So a lot of people who are going to sign up now. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, so that is the difference between the master planner and every other planner. And of course, I think it's the best planner, right? I designed it to really 
be an actual planner, strategic, right? Backed, research back strategy, neuroscience built into the planner, right? But then on top of that, if you're someone who just in general is a fan of me and my work and my philosophies, wants to learn how to functionally plan better, but you know, as I already kind of said earlier on, it, you don't just get a planner and it magically, you magically are planning in it every day. It is a habit that you have to uh, uh, you have to make time for. It is a routine that you have to build in your life. And having the the mastermind, right? Having your mastermind sisters and me to help keep you accountable, you are going to learn to develop those those routines, right? We do a lot of planning uh, together. We plan for the quarter together. We plan for the month together. I put prompts in our Slack for you know daily planning things and, and, and weekly planning things so that you're always remembering to do things, right? And, and establishing that routine for yourself. But also, you know, it gives me the opportunity inside the mastermind to teach you guys about different things that you need to expand, you know, your personal development and your own personal skill set, right? Because we're only as good as our, our mindset and our personal development will let us be. So I create a variety of different resources and tools on demand for you within the mastermind. And I personally coach you through any problems that you're having one to one and in a, in a group setting you know, live, we can do, we do one-to-one. I'll talk to people live on the calls and we can also chat one-to-one in the group as well in Slack. So it's a, it's an amazing opportunity to really get the accountability, the information, the strategy, extra tools. There's more tools in the mastermind than you can actually ever use, right? There's more, there's so many options in there. No one needs all of them, right? But I make everything because everyone has unique lives, unique, like, you know, situations, right? They think about planning differently, right? There's different priorities that they have. Everyone has different needs, right? So it's all there inside of the mastermind. It's like my life's work, the culmination of my life's work inside the mastermind, and you get to join me for the ride and benefit from all of it. Great question here. Do I have to wait to January or do I start now? You start right now, right? So when now, when you enroll, as soon as you enroll, you have access to the mastermind, you can go in, you have the entire library to peruse, <laughs> plus everything going forward, all the lives and replays and, and resources moving forward. So you do not have to start till January. As soon as you sign up for the mastermind, you are in, right? So you are in for as long as you are a member, right? So once you're ready to go, we can cancel, no questions asked like to keep you around. Many of the ladies here in the mastermind have been with me since the very beginning or very close to be to the beginning, right? It's not on every, you know, most people stay <laughs> because it's pretty awesome. Um, so yes, you can start right now. Um, one more thing that I do want to say, I see another question that just popped up. Something I forgot to say in the, in the actual class is when you purchase the master planner system, either the digital or the physical, uh, the print on demand, you actually are going to get the 2023 inserts too right? This is not true of a la carte. When you buy the a la carte, you're just getting the year. But when you buy the entire master planner system with your bonuses, you're going to see, you're going to get the uh, planner inserts for this year. And you're going to get, I have a digital version of the master planner, both of them, that is for Q3 and Q4 of this year. So you're going to be able to use the inserts right now. You don't have to wait, right? Yes. Okay, good. So that was a question someone else had. Awesome. Yes. You'll be able to use it right now. Um, another question. I'm sorry if I missed this. Um, oh, yes, this is the same question. Okay, so um, exact same question that I just answered. When you purchase the master planner now, the print on demand or the digital, you will have the inserts to use right now. You're going to get the 2023. So I've pulled down most of the 2023 inserts. Um, like there is no 2023 master planner in my shop right now because the 2024, you'll get the rest of 2023 with it. So you're just, you're, it's, you get an extra bonus for, for signing up. So you have next year's inserts and this year's. Awesome. I'm trying to think anything else. I don't think so. You guys, I think that's it. Are there any final questions before I leave you? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for all of the thumbs up. It was so great to talk to you guys and share the new planner with you, the digital planner. So excited. Okay, it looks like I don't have any more questions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say my goodbyes. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate it. 
Um, definitely make sure to use that code MP2024 launch at checkout as soon as possible to get the highest discount on your planning tools for 2024 that if you buy the master planner, you'll get them all right now, right? You can start using it right now, the 2023 version. And if you're someone who is serious about improving their productivity, would like to get coaching from me, the Charmed Life Mastermind is where you can do that. It is a very affordable membership option. You can pay monthly, quarterly, or annually. And we've talked about the bonuses for the latter two, two subscriptions. But no questions asked cancellation policy. I am super available to the members within the mastermind. You have tons of different resources in there. Um, so it really, if you're looking for help, right, getting your life organized and on track, if you're someone who likes um, to do personal development, right, but sometimes doing it on your own is hard, you're not sure what information to go be looking at. There's so many different options. I really streamline it for you um, to help you to create and cultivate your best life ever. Um, so go ahead and join the mastermind today. It is really, it's an amazing experience and I can't wait to have you join us inside. So take advantage of the promotions I have going on now. And yeah, that's it ladies. I will see you in the next video. Enjoy your planners and I'll see you inside the mastermind. Bye-bye.